Hi, my name's Craig. In this video, I'll give you a review of a game called You Can Kana. You Can Kana is a game that teaches you how to recognize written Japanese characters. Specifically, it covers the kana, which is hiragana and katakana. Hiragana and katakana are two of the three types of writing that is used for Japanese. I had no experience in learning kana before playing this game. I also had no experience in studying Japanese at all. That'll give you a good idea of how much progression I've made. The You Can Kana course is purely for character recognition. It'll teach you how to quickly see and translate into the sounds of Japanese. It will not help you with learning words or writing kana. The game has introductions to the kana stroke order and how to pronounce the kana. However, I don't think this game will help you with your writing or speaking. The skill that it mostly focuses on and practices the most is recognition of the kana characters. It will also not give you kanji recognition. Kanji is the third type of writing in Japanese. I think this game is good for someone like me, someone who has only just begun their journey into learning Japanese. I think having a strong recognition of kana means I can start learning kanji and Japanese words and sentences. I'll have to work on pronunciation and grammar a lot more as well. Keep in mind that this game helps you learn kana in one direction. Recognize the character and recall the sound. It doesn't get you to reproduce the character from the sound. So don't expect to be able to write Japanese words from the sounds of them. If I knew how to say a Japanese word, I don't think I would be able to reproduce it in kana form without some struggle. But be it as it may, uh, let's look at the game. So this is what the game is like, and this is the main menu. There are three courses, Hiragana, Katakana, and JLPT, which is the Japanese Language Proficiency Test. It's related to, to the JLPT. You do not have to complete the Hiragana course before doing the Katakana course. However, I've completed the Hiragana one. But you do have to complete Hiragana and Katakana in order to do the JLPT course. So let's have a look at the Hiragana course. The game introduces characters in sets of about five or less, as you can see up the top here. Uh, once you've learned a set of characters to a sufficient level, you can move on to the next set. You learn each set of characters by completing three sections, lesson, review, and test. Let's have a look at a lesson. Let's go into um, the k sounding words, and you'll see here the three sections. Let's have a look at what a lesson generally looks like. So you'll see that this is what a lesson generally looks like. You're presented with new characters in a sequential manner. We'll be presented with five. As you can see along the top, there are five characters that we'll come across. Uh, you're shown the stroke order of the character, as we've just been shown. This is the only practice you'll get on stroke order for a character as well. Um, so if I click here, you'll see that it lets you kind of follow the stroke order. However, again, this is the only practice that you'll get uh, for stroke order. So if you're wanting to learn how to actually write uh, hiragana and katakana, I would recommend maybe getting a workbook. But at the very least, this is good for the recognition of the characters. And you'll see that it's quite sloppy as well. You don't have to be super strict in how you do it. Then it'll show you a bunch of characters and you have to choose which one you're currently learning. We're learning Ka. This is Ka here. And then it'll show you a bunch more. This is Ke and Ko, which we'll learn later. And again, ka is here. One more time, we've got five here, but there's ka, it's over here. Cool, so now we have sufficiently memorized the current character, we move on to the next character in the set. I believe this is ke, no, ki. Ki. And you'll hear there's also a pronunciation guide as well. So we go through this section and then we'll do a bunch more of those activities. However, uh, a, another type of activity will 
turn up now that we know two of the characters. And here we have the second to last, or the, the last activity that we have in the lessons, where it'll try and test you against the other characters that you've just learned. And you'll keep going until you fill this progression and you go through all five. Cool, then we move on to the next character. Once you've completed the lesson section, the review section will unlock. I've already unlocked it, but it'll unlock next. Review will have a selection of words that include the characters you are currently learning. You are not timed in this mode, and you have access to reference material. Uh, you write Romanji, which uses English letters or Latin characters to input your answer. So if we go to review, if you need reference material, you can quick, quick click this question mark. So it's call um, ake kike kie. Some of these characters are on here I've already learned, and so I'm not, I'm not going over them again. Ika. And then you go through until you uh, fill the progression up the top. If you don't complete um, this entire progression up the top by the time you've finished 10, so if you if you make a couple of mistakes, you can just retry the lesson and it'll keep filling it up until you reach 100%. In the test section, you have to get 80% of the words that appear from the bottom of the screen within three minutes. I've only failed this section once within the Hidigana course and a couple of times in the Katakana. I found it fairly easy, com especially compared to the challenge mode. Uh, if you struggle too much with a word, you can click it to get the spelling. So I'll show you what the test looks like. So, kuwa, okaku, and I'll show you what happens if you fail it. So that's ie, now this is ke, but I'm going to do ki, and so it, it marks me wrong. So you can just try again, ie ke. And let's say I didn't know what a word was, I can just click it, and then it'll show you um, what the actual words are. But if you go back, notice that it is grayed out now. But then you just keep going until you fill up this bar here and stay above 80%. Cool. Challenge mode is a timed mode where you have to write out the Romanji of the kana as fast as you can. Each time you correctly complete a word, you'll be granted more time. You also get a higher combo multiplier. One strategy that I use is to sometimes leave the longer words and just go for the shorter and easier words. Otherwise, you can spend too much time trying to guess the long word or you are more likely to make a spelling mistake. This game is strict on spelling of words. It's not a real... Oh, it is a real word. Hooray. Hiki. And so you'll notice up the top as well, there's this kind of big glowing band of light, and that band gets smaller and smaller as you run out of time. Uh, the longer words often give you more time, the shorter words give you less time, um, and you're trying to build up a combo multiplier here. I'll let this, you'll get to see what it looks like when you run out of time, but I'll skip forward. You can also click words, but if you click them and then type them in, you don't get any points for them. Oh, you do get points. But you don't get extra time. So you notice that the words can disappear, but I still haven't failed the game. It's not until this bar is completely gone and you run out of time. Training mode is like challenge mode, however the words stop up the top and don't go away. You're also not timed. While the points on the side of the screen add up, they don't count towards anything. And you also have access to reference material if you need to look at it. 
Kukikol. Kukakaku. And as usual, you can also click the words to see the spelling, uh, the Romanji. Now that I've covered how the game teaches you kana, I'm going to show you how much I learn over time. It took about seven hours for me to complete the Hirigana course as a first go through. And this doesn't mean I'm the best at recognizing Hiragana characters. I still make mistakes, especially for the characters that I learned last. I'm starting to go into the Katakana course as well. And so it's getting a little bit mixed up in terms of the different characters. Uh, but that'll get better with practice. So as you can see at the moment, I haven't finished the Katakana course, so I'll finish that. And, the, and then when I get to JLPT, I'll try out the N5 level and then we'll see how we go from there. Uh, something I found difficult in learning kana was that similar sounds had similar characters. In some cases this helps because sounds that start with H, B or P are similar apart from a double dot, which is called a dakuden. Uh, I'll show you the example. So P, does that show a big, oh yeah, a little bit bigger. So H, so ha, Ba and Pa uh, look very similar and then you can just kind of change the, the vowel sound is the same and the consonant sound changes depending on those small little characters on the top right. However, some sounds had a character that was only a little bit different and it's hard to differentiate something like Re, Re and Wa look similar to me but they're not at all the same and also nu nu and me look very similar as well apart from the curly bit so that kind of trips me up and here as well ne i guess ne and re are similar but so that can be kind of difficult but the game's good because what or it helps out a lot because if you get a character wrong then it'll keep bringing it back until you've properly learned it. The types of learning activities in this game reinforce fast recall which is awesome because that's the whole point of being able to quickly recognize the characters. Uh, in conclusion so far you can kana is a great game for learning character recognition of Japanese kana. This game will not teach you all you need to know for Japanese but it will give you that first step in reading Japanese. Learning Japanese takes many hundreds of hours, thousands of hours, for native English speakers. And at the very least, it's a fun game to play and it provides motivation to continue learning. So I'd recommend you can kana if you're trying to get a start into learning Japanese. Um, what I'll probably do is, with the, hiri, uh, the, sorry, the Katakana course and the JLPT course, once I've finished the Katakana course in JLPT, I'll post another video and maybe put a link nearby uh, that you can uh, go to if you want to see my progression and those ones as well. Uh, have a good one.